Hey y'all, it's Natalie here and it's Technique Tuesday and our theme this month in August is stitching on a layout. So I have all these pictures of my little guy's um, kindergarten program where he was a pig and I got this six by six paper pad by Echo Park and it's called Fun on the Farm. So I'm showing you, I have all those pictures. I'm gonna do a um, pocket page, but today we're gonna focus on the 12 by 12 accompanying full-size layout. So I'm gonna use these three main photos of him and his costume on that page. And you can see I also have the brochure or the, you know, the, um, the thing they give you when you go in um, and the playbill, if you will. <laughs> and I decided that I wanna make a pocket for it to go into on the page and so stitching is a really great way to add a pocket to your layout so it luckily will fit just within these six by six paper parameters so what i'm doing is i'm finding a really nice pattern paper that i want to use for the main portion of the um, envelope on the page that will house the playbill for my kids program here so i like this one that's like all of the farm elements um but it's not quite tall enough so I'm measuring, I can see that if I just sew really well around the edges, then it will just fit. I actually do end up trimming down the brochure um, a little bit to make it fit a little bit better, but um, it had some dead space on the edge, so that was fine. It didn't cut out any of the information. But since this isn't quite tall enough, I decide to grab two additional pattern papers in the color red, and I'm gonna um, put strips of paper at the top and the bottom. So right now I'm just measuring about how big I would like. And I think I cut them maybe an inch and a half or two inches, we're about to find out, an inch and a half. Um, and I love that I use the two different red ones. I love that they um, coordinate so well, but are within the same color family. So I'm gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom, and I'm gonna sew this pocket directly onto my layout. You could also give it a backing and um, kind of sew it separately and then just stick it onto your layout. Um, and that would be really good if you needed to kind of um, give your envelope a little bit of an oomph to hold more um, documents. Since I just had this single sheet of paper, it didn't need to be really um, high off the page, but you could add some foam tape when you are making your pocket as well um, to give it like a thicker uh, inside so you could um, put more papers in it. Um, I'm just showing you, I sewed just around the three edges, so you can see I have the top um, left open. It was a little bit of a struggle to get this in there. Like I said, I did end up trimming off some of it, but I got it down in there. And people aren't gonna be pulling this out all the time, you know? This is just like for my kid, someday in the future he can pull it out and be like, oh, look, these are all my kindergarten friends or whatever. So I was gonna do a grid layout and then I thought, well, wow, this is like a lot of pattern paper on this big old envelope. The envelope had to be a little bit larger. So I do end up still going with the grid, but I just kind of make it smaller. So first I'm gonna back uh, the main photo, which is gonna sit atop the envelope with some yellow paper that perfectly matches the color of the playbill. But then I also needed more help to be um, kind of eye popping off of the envelope. So I also stick it on more of a solid red. It's almost a complete solid. That's also from the paper pack. Um, and I stick it atop the solid red. I rough up all the edges once I've sewn down um, the envelope. And so I'm gonna do that with all of the papers that you see me use today. I'm gonna rough up the edges because I like that distressed look and I also really like the texture that it gives. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just roughing up the edges and I don't ink them up or anything. They have a white core, so that's nice. When you rough up the edges, you can see a little bit of white. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna get ready to make my grid. So I trim these photos down a little bit and I back them in white and I'm measuring right here to see how tall I want my rectangles to be. So I'm gonna do skinny little rectangle grids instead of like a square grid. So I love the cow paper, I used it a couple of times, but that's still too thick. So I decided to make it only one inch thick. So I cut two of the cow rectangles and then I go through and I just pull, up, pull out a few other coordinating patterns. So that's the lovely part of using a six by six paper pad is you have a lot of papers to choose from and they all co coordinate and go well together. 
So, um, I don't show you going through all of those cause it was a little bit of a process, but, um, I use that yellow that I've already used. So I'm mimicking that again, that has already shown up once on the page to help bring cohesion. So I pull a few more out and then I take them to my sewing machine and I sew around them and some blue thread, the same thread that I used to make the pocket. And I did a little bit of a zigzag stitch and then I would do a straight stitch. And so I just kind of did that alternating all around all of the little rectangles to give it some more interest and these i did not sew directly onto the page i just sewed a border around them it's kind of just a, another option of making it stand out like you would do if you were inking um your squares that was me showing you the title i know i'm probably gonna lose some followers because this pun is just unforgivable like i know i like a good pun but this one is bad y'all but i like to play off of our name anyway and i use big dill a lot because our last name is dill but then i saw something that said kind of a pig dill and i just couldn't i couldn't not use it i had to use it <laughs> so the title is gonna be kind of a pig dill but before we get there, I'm going to pop up all of these little sewn rectangles with some of these foam dots. And I'm just making sure to center it in the middle of the envelope that I put on the page there. <clears throat> and then I'm also kind of changing the place of the photos so that they're not right next to one another. So I'm loving the way that looks. It's really coming together as I envisioned, even though I had to make the paper pieces smaller because um, my pocket ended up being so big. And then the um, the only other really embellishments, because it's a lot going on with all the different patterns and the sewing on them. So I'm not going to use a lot more embellishments, but you can see over there on the left, I have these Mrs. Grossman's pig stickers. They're so cute. Um, and on the back, I think it says she's been around since like the seventies, which is super fun. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to put the title. Um, and I decide there's a, actually a lot of negative space in the photo. So I'm going to overlap the title on the photo a lot. So <clears throat> I do have to edit a couple of the Q's. Um, one turns into an O and then two turn into L's. Um, but I don't think they look too bad and I'm about using up this uh, sheet of alphabet stickers. So again, title, kind of a pig deal. Oh, insert groan here. I know, I got mom jokes. <laughs> so <clears throat> I want to add the pig stickers and then a few more things around the page to embellish. So I pull out the six by six pad and there's a bunch of cut aparts inside, which are super cute. So I pulled out a bunch, they say a bunch of different things. And like I said before, I'm gonna do a 12 by 12 pocket page. I'm not gonna do that on screen here, but I will post it on my Instagram pretty soon. Um, but I, I pull these out because, and I make more than I'm gonna use on this 12 by 12 page because I know I'll use them in the pockets. So I rough up the edges of those. I also created a little tab to help you know that you're supposed to pull the playbill out of the envelope. I use that same little cow print. I like that it's in three spots. And then um, I sewed around the edges of all those little phrases that I took out of the cut apart sheets. And I just used two on this page and I saved the rest for my pocket page. I didn't wanna add, just add another color in, so that's why I didn't use the green one up there. So I also pulled out this Pink Fresh Studio sheet. It's from my stash, but it has the pink colors in it and some reds as well. So. I decided to add one more little interesting element up at the top because I had a little empty space and I felt like it needed something. So I needed to create um, something up there in the top right to give me like a little bit more of a visual triangle. So I do the same treatment on those little pieces of paper. I sew around the edges and then I'm just going to stick them down to my page. And I like to leave a little bit of loose thread hanging from the end because I get, I feel like that gives a, again additional texture um, and interest to the page. So the last thing I'm gonna do is grab a few of these stickers over here from this Pink Fresh Studio sheet to um, help me anchor a few of those pig stickers, the Mrs. Grossman's. They're really cute, but they are um, a little bit transparent. Um, so you can see some of the pattern papers behind it, which would be a little problematic when I put it onto that main um, pocket paper. So I'm going to use this little label sticker here as an anchor for the pig and it's gonna be looking at him. And I decide to only use the pink pigs that match the pink of his costume. 
He was the cutest pig, even though he could not leave his little snout alone. It was bothering him to death. But he even, um, on, you'll see later on on my Instagram when I finally get around to finishing the pocket page, but he played the xylophone when it was his part and he got to like link arms with his bestie girl and they did little dance on stage and it was the cutest. I just couldn't stand it. So I think we're about done there. I'm just gonna add another pig and we're done. I hope you guys are inspired to try some stitching on your page. I know earlier in the month, they talked a lot about hand stitching, but this is all machine stitching and it's easiest in my opinion. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd love it if you would head over to my channel as well. If you liked this video, check out a cherryontop.com for this uh, paper pad and more. See you guys later, bye.